by for some wild, wild flying, Mr. Scott Francis, ladies and gentlemen. He does it so very, very well. And it is violent, I guarantee you. Here we go, in from the left, the smoke is on, watch for the crisp four-point roll. Ready, ready, and... Whoop! Hard pull there. Look at the aileron rolls all the way to the inverted negative G. Trying to throw him outside that cockpit. They got to modify their program due to the ceilings and the cloud clearance and all of that. I'll explain a little bit to you. All right, here we go. Four point hesitation roll. Stopping that airplane every night to bring it around the compass. And then a crisp, crisp roll. 10G pull to the vertical. Now watch as he enters the aerobatic box from the left side. The smoke is on. Building that all important airspeed for this next maneuver. Nose comes up and we're inverted. Upright to inverted, upright to inverted, and then sharp pull and up and a series of snap rolls on the way up. We're getting some good ceilings now. Seems like they're improving to the right end of the aerobatic box. Got, I'll explain to you, we've got to have certain ceilings and such, ladies and gentlemen. All right, watch this. That's what he calls the slider. 45 on the upline, just sliding that airplane, cross-controlling it all the way up to show left. Now, over the top. Airspeed, all important now, right here, show center. Nice little slow roll. A difficult maneuver to do because if you'll notice how expert he is, he exits the, the X, he exits the, uh, that maneuver at the same altitude, the same heading that he went in. It's difficult to do. Powers up, nose down. Right down on the deck comes Scott Francis. Whoa! That is a 9G pull, pushing him down the seat nine times his own weight. Blood rushing to his legs. If you don't have what we call G tolerance, you can't handle those things. They practice this, they practice this. They get the G tolerance and they can do it. Right there, once again. That's an 8G pull to the inverted now, going from 8G's positive to about 4G's negative. When you're negative, the uh, blood tries to rush to your head. Negative flows to the lower part of the body. The jet pilots wear what we call speed jeans. That's, uh, those are pressure suits. When they pull hard G's, they inflate around the legs to keep the blood in the upper torso and in the brain so they can function properly. These are instantaneous G's. He pulls that nine G's, but it's just for an instant. He could not pull that and hold it forever. Right down on the deck now, pull, and a series of snap rolls. Eat a lot rolls, brother. And then an exit top. Look how crisp this airplane is. Like I said, it is an amazing airplane, the MXS. Not too many of them flying in the air show business today. Scott sold his beloved pits and purchased a high performance Johnson. I'll tell you what, let's let's see if we can go to the cockpit and talk to Scott. Scott, you copy me on okay? Uh, how, how's the air up there? Uh, you know, even though we got a few sprinkles here and there, the air seems pretty smooth. How is it flying? 
Take a look at that G meter and tell the, tell the audience the top end there. Okay, he's gonna work on 10 G's. Watch this. Gonna be a hard left turn. Boom. Oh, that hurts. Oh, <laughs> very good. Hey, Scott, thanks. Good to talk to you. We'll watch the remainder of your show. Very good, Scott. Thanks, sir. A little difficult, ladies and gentlemen, flying an aerobatic maneuver, pulling those kind of G's and talking on the radio at the same time. A couple of more passes. Okay. That's the, the knife edge pass. That is another maneuver where there is cross control. He's got the aileron putting that left wing down the ground, but a lot of top rudder or right rudder to hold the altitude there. Knife edge pass by Mr. Scott Francis. Later on, Larry Labriola, we go from piston to jets, flown with him in his L39. Two more passes, and then uh, he'll be through, and we'll see what's next. Our, I'll explain the situation to you here. Oh. I rode with Scott in his pits once, and he did a maneuver like that, and I wanted to throw up, but I, I didn't know which way up was. There's a little wave to you, wave back to Mr. Scott Francis in the MXS. All right, we're waiting for word here from George Klein, our son, what's happening here? Oh, right.